Welcome to the feed event of Game Effects over here at Fort Park Resort. We are now in here over at the main game room for Game Effects, sponsored by Hyped and so far looks amazing. But the reason why we're over here for a special preview day is all thanks to you. So if you are new here, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. Because all of that will help us do more videos like this and soon we may even be able to go to a press event. So we're going to start off by showing you around everywhere that's over here. So we're going to start off with all places that are made for adults. So yes, this is the bar. So the bar is over here and they do actually sell drinks. But as this as the whole event in general starts over tomorrow for the whole of the Easter holiday, that will be much more open and it will be much more busy over here. And then as well you've got all the car games and everything over here as well as some old retro games are over here which my dad is playing at the moment and then if we carry on around here you can see some of the other retro games over here including Kung Fu, Super Mario Bros 64 I think it is and really really impressed with this area so far so we're going to head around some more of it see you shortly and see some more clips enjoy So we've just looked at the retro version of all of these games and they're all based on stuff like Nintendo 64s and stuff like that but really, you just look at some of the older games and they're actually really good quality and of course we all get to the newer games like Fortnite and those other racing games and even VR because it's just been announced that from Merlin Pass Day only the VR is actually free to play so we'll definitely give it a go and see how we can see the contrast between the older games and the newer games but my dad is still playing Mario Bros and he is doing so well on it let's take a look at this level world 5, level 2 and the candidate didn't do what I did to you but what do you think Rick? because Callum, you're a big gamer aren't you? so kind of, how do you feel all these games over here? Right, uh, water level it's really good for players like people who enjoy theme park just come over and uh, enjoy some games so yeah, yeah. I'm really yeah. enjoying it water level yeah, it kind of gets a mix between two of the, like, the best things teenagers games as well as theme parks and like, right outside where we are is the one and only so you can really get so close to each other, you just go in the tent, which is up all Easter holidays. So if you are here, definitely try to book a slot because it does get busy, but actually at the moment it's not actually showing much uh, busyness at all actually. And we're really going to all the retro games and now we're going to head over to some big games and I think now we're going to attempt the VR to see the massive difference between them both. So we're going to head over to the VR. So we have just done the VR and wow, that is incredible. You know when you say technology is progressing in the future, that is exactly what I'm saying about. To so all these like, Xboxes here, which you will go on in a sec, but VR is the way of the future. Honestly, you are playing those games, make it more complex, maybe make a Mario VR, I don't know, that's my suggestion earlier. But I just think that really, that sort of VR sort of situation and everything, you feel really immersed in it, it feels like you actually are doing it. And unlike the games that you're sitting against the screen, you kind of have to look around, and a hand you're moving back really far into that game. It's just so exciting and you're adrenaline rushing. And if you can imagine it, the VR like now is kind of like the old Nintendo 64. And look how far it's progressed with stuff like Rocket League, which we'll be playing in a sec. And that's kind of how much I want VR to uh, go ahead. Because VR is better at the moment. The one that we're playing on is roughly over £1,600 just with a VR set alone. So all the equipment that comes with it, like all the guns and everything that you can have in those games. Yeah, really, really expensive. And my dad, who also was around when the Nintendo 64 was created and everything. So what did you think of the VR? I think the virtual is very good. 
I thought the place I walked in, I thought it was going to be rubbish. It's actually really good, really, really good. Loads of retro games, loads of modern games, virtual reality, loads of stuff. It's really good, worth coming down. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, this is our voted the day that the event officially opens over in the Saturday, first Saturday of my holiday. But like I said, it's over most of my holiday. Just go on the Full Park website, the link will be down below in the description if you want to book tickets. And definitely, definitely, definitely suggest coming along because it may be busy, but it's like esports competitions over here. And then they got the big screen up here with all the leaderboard on. It's just got so much that you can play, and it's all free except for the VR over in the actual days and the Esports competition, which isn't. All like the old retro games, the Fortnite over there, and everything is all free apart from that. So now we're going to move on to the next area. Do you think we're going to play some car games now? Just had some goes with some uh, middle equipment, so not like VR, but also not like the old Nintendo 64. And like I said, these are the sort of games that you have at your house and play. So if you do come here, definitely try out the VR, because that's one of those opportunity. If you are lucky enough to have a VR at home, I would still give it more goes, because this is really just like if you want to come over here, I think it's free to come over actually. So you can head over on a holiday for free. I don't think I let you know, but all of this. How much I've got is including all of this. So I definitely recommend coming down here. If you live nearby and you're busy playing all of the games at home, come over here because you can get some competitions as well. And there's like a big leaderboard up there of everyone that can play over there. Those competitions though do cost money, so I do have to recommend that you have to pay towards going into it. But overall, I think that even if you're not going to some competitions like these kids are doing behind me right now, you can still have a great time playing some of the original games. OMG, the hyped games effect is phenomenal. And I'm gonna start off with my view, then go into Callum, then Adam, then my dad, but my mum didn't really do much. Anyway, but first off, I'm just gonna mention that it is one of the best experiences of your life to go in there. I'm not gonna rave about it too much, even though I just did there, but I just think overall, the rides can get busy in Easter holidays, and have somewhere like little like that just head into half of the day, and there is limited number of people in, because they do have tickets that you have to book up for it all. And even though the rides like Stealth Holiday is amazing, I just think inside there, Game Effects is a really nice place. I know it is used in some of the venues where you can normally hire stuff out, but this is really the thing that Fort Park are doing. I still think that they should build a new ride over here, but if this is the second thing that they can do, I think this is really, really awesome. And I'm going to start with the classic games. The classic games like Mario and Nintendo 64, I don't know how I've got this equipment over here, because I can remember the Nintendo 64, and I actually have one of those at home, so when I get at home, it's the sort of thing now, I'm going to get at home and play with the sort of games. And then when you went on to the VR, just that quick shot from like any like old graphic game, over towards this one, you move around on the swords and everything and find it. I don't really remember how it was because I edited it and I haven't seen the play yet. But I just think that, that VR was just like so realistic and really good. And then we went over towards the classic games that you guys will have at home and you really know how they feel. But definitely, definitely, definitely come down here and experience this because it's really good. Now, Callum, you're the one who normally plays most of the games out of all of us. And what did you think of Game Effects? Um, I feel like they could have worked on it a bit better. What I mean by that is the fact that most of the headsets were down. I'm not saying it was a bad experience. It's just the VR is very experimental, especially with, this is like the first event I've actually been to where there's like loads of VR headsets, there's loads of games to play. And of course the VR is still in kind of a beta access kind of way because of how much it is. However, I just feel like it could have been a bit more managed well. They had a lot of time to set this up, so. Yeah, and also very really quickly after that, the staff of it was so nice. They're walking you around, showing you how to play the games. They said how awesome they're high five us when they're leaving, and they were just so kind to all of us when playing the game. And now Adam, you were here for ten minutes of it all. You had to have a quick run because you were somewhere else before you entered here. But you did explain some of the VR. So what did you think of it all over here? I think it's an amazing opportunity to use this area back there. And they never used to use it before. So well done, Thought Park. Game effect is amazing, as they said. Obviously, the beautiful rides are outside, but please go and check it out. It's a great experience. 
for all the family. So like even if you stay there for 10 minutes, it's really good. Check the VR out, you can go everywhere and it's really good. Just make sure to check it out. And yeah, it's amazing out there. Yeah. And Daddy, what did you think of this? Because you are obviously the Mario. Wow, you yeah, like no, amazing, I thought it was really Mario. good. There's some really good retro games like Mario, Street Fighter, stuff like that. And there's some medium games for like Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Nintendo Wii. It wasn't set up actually, the Wii wasn't set up. And then virtual reality as well. And if you're cool, you get one of these badges and they're colour changing badges. So all you do, you just rub it on your hand like that and change the colour. So world cool badges. Rub it in your hand and it changes colour. Yeah, but the overall experience in general, what do you kind of think of all like for medium games? So you did all the VR and you did uh, the yeah. Nintendo sort of stuff, but what's the middle sort of level? Oh, it's good, yeah, yeah, really good. There was loads of machines, loads of consoles in there as well. Wasn't too busy, might be in future, but yeah, yeah. really good. Like I said, this is a preview day for Merlin Pastors, so it shouldn't be that busy. But we did actually order tickets to get in here. They just ignored us and said, Are you Merlin Pass holders? Then, yes, they just let us straight in there. So if you do come to another Merlin Pastors thing, because I'm pretty sure we want for Bam Silver as well, definitely recommend just like booking a ticket. But in case you don't, that just like try heading in, ask them if you can head in, even though you don't get a ticket. But that is it for me over here at Game Effects over at Fort Park. One of the four events which are coming over here for 2019. This is us from Theme Park Hosting, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure you got another video around here. See a video you may like down here. But make sure to subscribe here and take some places up here. This is me, Tom Derek, and goodbye.